Hello you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Alex. I am 28 years old and I am a full-time server here in Pennsylvania. This month, I thought it would kind of be fun to do a little budget with me for October as well as go over my budget for September. I usually cash budget, but I started um, using like a budget template to try and track like what I'm spending just to make sure I'm allocating the correct funds while I'm cash stuffing. If there's like a budget I need to, if there's like a category in my saving funds I need to put more money into, like stuff like that. So I got a budget template from Erin. I will have a link down below. I really, I've been enjoying it so far. I'm still trying to get the hang of it. So if something is off or not perfect, please excuse that. But I'm gonna share my screen and first we're gonna go over um, my budget as a whole because I realize I've never really like talked about it before to you guys um, and then we'll go over like what I've spent and what I'm planning for the month of October so I thought it kind of just be fun to just sit down chit chat a little bit for my budget for September if you guys look over here I as a server I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna make each week um, because I do keep, I do get paid obviously every day I get um, cash at the end of the day which is really nice still um, so when I was budgeting I budgeted around $1,300 a week um, and then this month was an interesting month because I had an old 401k um, at my old restaurant and obviously because I no longer work there it wasn't getting contributed anymore so I actually took it all out and I got the money from it um, I did have to pay a penalty but I figured it actually was gonna benefit me more later on. That would be my dog. For anyone that is new here, this is my dog Prince. He is a three, three and a half year old now, Pomsky puppy. Well, not a puppy no more, he's a dog. Um, I just took him to the vet. He's almost 60 pounds, you guys. So definitely a big old Pomsky. But as I was saying before I was really interrupted by him, um, I kind of like just try to project what I'm going to be making each week and so I just put around $1,300 each week. Um, I did sell um, a few items on Poshmark so that is what the side hustle $35 came from and then obviously my 401k reimbursement. For my needs category, I have my car insurance. It's about $144 a month. This was a lot cheaper before I had my accident last year and it went up almost $100. I'm hoping next year it will go down a little bit, but I guess we'll see. So because I have a new car and because of my accident, it did go up by like almost $100. It was crazy. Um, I paid $218 roughly for my health insurance. I'm looking for a new healthcare provider for January because I obviously don't work at like a corporate job or anything like that. I pay for my own health insurance each month because I'm obviously older than 26 so I'm off of my parents' plan. Um, and I pay too much money each month and coming to find out it doesn't even cover like preventative care and stuff like that. And um, I was trying to get like a breast reduction and it doesn't even cover that even if it's medically needed. So I want to get a new healthcare provider in January. Um, I pay about $39 for pet insurance for my dog. Um, this is pretty much covers if he has any accidents, if he somehow gets cancer, if he needs surgery, anything like that. It covers about 80% of it, so I think that's beneficial for him. Um, my gym membership is just about $35. $35. Um, I have a membership here in Pennsylvania. I actually haven't gotten in the last couple weeks because I injured my leg. Um, so I've been waiting for that to finally heal. I like pinched a nerve or something. My subscription is about $37. This includes, um, Hulu, Disney, um, Spotify. Um, I pay like $3 for, um, iCloud storage for my phone. I give my mom $400 a month for rent. This is just me giving her money to help out either for my phone, like electric, gas, whatever she needs it for. Um, trash and sewage, I give 300 every three months, but I save about $100 each month for it, so that's why it's just 100 each month. Um, gas, I budget around 150 I do have a 2023 Hyundai Sonata Hybrid, so my car is very good on gas. I think literally, and you'll see in my budget last month, I filled it up like twice. So, um, 
And then I do contribute until my sister gets a job. I contribute $50 a month towards my younger sister's healthcare insurance as well. Um, this was new because we had to start paying for it. And then here comes the once. So for food and drinks for September, I budgeted about $500. And this was because it was my mom's and my grandma's birthday. So I knew I was going to take them to a really nice restaurant. And so that's why it's high. Usually it's... I don't budget that much because I really do not go out to eat that much. If I do, it's just to get food while I'm at work if I'm doubling or something like that. Um, for beauty, this is any like makeup, skincare, anything I need to get done um, or buy because if I run out of something, it's I budgeted zero dollars because I'm trying to use up all my products until November when Sephora does their VIP sale. Um, miscellaneous is I budget about $50 a month. This includes um, if I'm like need to park in a garage, if I need to take an Uber for something, like anything like miscellaneous like that. Um, Prince slash household is $100. This includes like if I need to get him treats, if he needs to get food, if I need to buy something like shampoo or conditioner or toiletries, anything like that. Shopping, I budgeted zero. I'm saving as much as I can up until Black Friday. I really don't need anything. I either wear gym clothes normal like everyday clothes if I'm going out to dinner or something like that which I have enough of or I just really wear my work uniform five days a week so and I'm trying to save everything again up until Black Friday when I'm going to do like a really big shopping trip. Self-care is $230. I usually get my nails done about two times a month um and then I also get waxed once a month as well which reminds me I need to make a waxing appointment before I leave for Las Vegas in a couple weeks. And then fun money is zero. This one, and you'll see in my savings, I have a fun money. This one I kind of use interchangeably because I either, like, if I know I'm going to an event, I'll try to, like, plan ahead and, like, save for it. But most of the time what happens is I buy the tickets and then I just pay myself back. So, um, I guess we'll go to savings goals next. Um, emergency, I ideally would like to save $200 for my emergency fund. Um, month ahead, um, 80 to 100 ideally. Um, I want to be one month ahead of all my finances. So medical is zero um, for this month. I budgeted again because I don't like I pay for my own health care insurance. It's really just like if something like really, really bad happens. So um, I know I have a dentist appointment in January and I need to just get my teeth cleaned. So I'm just saving for that. I need to anyway. Travel, I budgeted about $600. I'm going to Las Vegas in a couple weeks. And so I need to pay for my hotel and um, for any like food, Ubers, anything like that. The flight is already covered. But Christmas and gifts, I budgeted $100 this month. Um, yeah, Christmas is coming up and I actually have not saved like anything towards it. But now I'm usually like way ahead. But this year has just been absolutely crazy. So once my vacation ends, November and then beginning of December, I'm going to put all my money towards just Christmas and everything like that. Black Friday, I had budgeted $75. Um, again, once my vacation is over for the last month, I'll put a lot more towards Black Friday. Designer is zero. I like designer brands. If you couldn't tell, I literally have an Hermes and a Christian Dior bracelet one. Again, it's frivolous. I understand not everyone's going to, like, they're going to have opinions on it. I, I love designer products. So I want to have a sinking fund for when I want to buy something. I can have my name for it. Pet funds, I budgeted $100. Again, this is kind of unattainable with, like, my once category of my pets. Um, but next year specifically, I really want to start putting into like a pet fund for if I go on vacation, I can use that towards like boarding or vet visits or anything like that. So shopping, I put zero again. Um, if I want to save up for something, like if I know ahead of time, fund money, 200. Again, this was one that was entertainable. I budgeted $200. Um, you'll see when I go through my budget, I probably should have done more because I was going to budget more for October because there was a few events in October I wanted to go to, but coming to find out, we bought tickets ahead of time. So it came out of this month and then beauty, I budgeted a hundred again. I, again, I'm still figuring out like savings and wants and trying to like how to figure out because I mostly cash budget. So if anyone has any ideas, I would love your recommendations. Um, but yeah, I'm still trying to figure out tweaking like my, my savings slash like sinking funds and like my ones categories that's where i'm really like struggling right now um investing i want to contribute 50 dollars towards my roth ira every month i know it's not a lot but 
while I'm just paying off my debt, it, I still want to like put something towards it. And then investment, I want to put $200 towards my Charles Schwab account. Um, I've slowly been dipping my toes into investing. I just started a month or so ago, so this is pretty new. Um, and then the last category is my debt. So my core payment is $643.62 a month. Um, I'm not really focused on this one right now. I'm more focused on my student loans. So this month, because I got my um, reimbursement for my 401k, I wanted to put $5,000 into it. Um, I usually like to put about $1,000 into my student loans a month. And then my laptop is $145.66. I got, ow. I got a new laptop earlier this year and because I have the Apple Cord, I had 0% interest for a year. So I just broke it down into 12 payments. Um, so that should be done halfway through next year and a little bit less like in April. And that is everything for my budget. So I'm actually very happy with how I did last month. Um, it was a spendy month, but I feel like I budgeted like pretty well. So I guess we can go through the actual like spend by each category first. So for debt, I put $5,789. So it was almost 60% of my income was towards debt, which is really nice. Again, most of the, all of that came from my 401k reimbursement, which was really nice. Um, in the needs category, it was just shy of 12%. I did 1149 um, in my ones, it was a little bit over than 10%. I put about $1,000 and $4. In savings, I put a little bit more than $1,500. And then in investments, I put $250. So like 2.5%. Um, so on the left-hand side, you'll see the transactions. So I logged. I'm pretty sure almost all of my transactions, I might have missed like one or two um, if I pay for something like in cash or something like that. But... Um, I also want to save for a rainy day, but I ran out of, um, let's just zoom on the head. I ran out of space to do, again, I'm trying to figure out my sinking funds, so that was just that. But you'll see I categorized pretty much all of my savings if I, like, put it into sinking funds. Again, just want to get better at this and, like, minimize it a little bit for next year. So I'll, I'll figure that out eventually, but is pretty much it um for cash flow this was my income and then everything that the like break down so for income it was 11,519 again six, 63 of that came from my 401k reimbursement my debt um was spot one I knew how much I was putting into it my needs I actually went under budget and that was just because of gas. You'll see when I go over it. My once I went over mm, like two, like $120, $123 to be specific. Um, I'm not mad at this. Again, this really was because of the concert tickets that I bought for October, thinking I was going to buy in October. But when my friends were I looking at tickets, it seemed like um, it was selling out like really quickly. So we bought it ahead of time. Savings, I put about $100 more than I was planning, which is always a good thing. And then um, for investment, I was spot on. So this is just, this one over here is the income summary on um, paycheck one. Yeah, the first week of September was not a good week for me. I expected 13, I made literally 500. It was so slow. I also had an extra shift taken out because my restaurant's closed on Labor Day and I usually double on Mondays, so. That one, I took a hit that day, but I wasn't mad at it because I had a nice day with my family. Um, but then the next week made up for it. And that's what serving is. Like one week you could have such a sucky week and the very next week it makes up for it. So I made um, I made a little over $1,800 that week, which was really nice. Again, third week I was over by like $160, which is always good. And then this last week in September, I was under by $30. So... I think 1300 is like a good like range for me because I usually am within that. Um, if we go to the debt, pay, debt payment summary, my car is always the same every single month. Um, student loans, I put $5,000 towards it, $1,000 like normal, and then I put $4,000 for my 401k reimbursement. And then my laptop is always the same. And if anyone wants to know why I spent 
the remaining $2,000 one that I had. Um, I had like a fourth claro payment that I made. I paid off like, not like credit card debt because I had the money, like I was saving the money each week like to pay it off, but I figured I would just use that money towards something else instead and that I had like saved up originally for it and then I just paid that all off. Um, I had a medical bill like I was talking about covered that came up from when I went to like the gym, like the doctor in like May or something and that was for like almost $400. I had a past um, medical that I was paying monthly for for like almost a hundred dollars. What else? Yeah, it was a lot of that. So that is what I paid that towards. Um, if we go towards my needs, my car insurance is always the same as well as my health insurance and my pet insurance and my gym subscriptions actually was a little bit more because it was like almost 40 um 50 it was almost 50 because i had i paid for a membership for ring for an entire year that i wasn't expecting and that was like 50 dollars and then i forgot to cancel apple tv because i tried like the free subscription so that was my bad and that was like 10 dollars and some change so next month it should be pretty much right on par rent is always the same same as trash and sewage as well as my sister's insurance is the same right now um, gas, like I said, I really was under budget for this. I usually get gas like three times, depending if I'm like traveling to like Philly or like DC or anything like that. Um, but like I said, I only got it two times last, last month. So I spent just shy of $80, which is not bad at all. Um, then we'll go to once. So food and drinks. Yeah, I went over. I spent $616.56 roughly on food last month. And a big one of that was when I took my grandmom and my mom to the fancy restaurant. That was $372.46. Money well spent. I also gave a really nice tip to my server because I knew her. She was, she worked with me at my old restaurant. So I'm not mad at that. So roughly if I took that out, I would realistically have only spent like 200 and some dollars on food. Um, beauty, I didn't spend anything. Miscellaneous was $52.06, so I went over just a little bit, and that was honestly, um, I had, like, a parking garage at, like, the end of the month. I had, like, an entrance fee to, um, like, some bars or something, so I'm not mad at that. Princeton household, I spent 75 Um, I had budgeted about $155 for my pet's vet visit, but I ended up going over by $100, so I took the 150 that I had saved, and I just... I'm going to save the extra 75 um, Shopping, I didn't buy anything this month. Self-care, I budgeted 230 I actually only spent 100 So, because my nails lasted me, like, the whole, like, the way that I got it done was, like, right at the end. And then just, like, once in September. Like, so, that's the way that I got it. And I didn't get waxed. So, and fun money, again, I had budgeted zero because I didn't think I was going to buy anything for the month of October until October, and then I ended up spending 160 So that one I did go over, unfortunately. Um, I guess we'll go, we can go to monthly investing goals. So this, I had budgeted perfectly. I put $50 towards my Roth, and I put $200 towards my investment. So I'm very happy with that. Um, my monthly saving goals emergency i had wanted to put 200 i put 100 just because right now i'm saving for my trip to las vegas and that's like i'm trying to budget about like 1600 dollars. 600 is for the hotel and it was like 300 something for the flights and then i'm planning to spend about a thousand so it's going to be about like a couple thousand dollar trips so i was limiting how much i was putting into my emergency funds um, month ahead, I put $80. I did put $80 into my rainy day fund as well, but again, um, I just ran out of like spaces. So, um, but I put a hundred dollars, I put $80 towards that. And then 20 of that is in my rainy day fund. Um, medical, I actually wasn't planning on putting anything in medical this month up until after my vacation, but I put $50, which is awesome. Um, I had only budgeted 600 towards travel, but I ended up putting 775 because I'm going to Pittsburgh in a couple weeks, like right after I come back from Las Vegas for Halloween weekend with my best friend. So um, I'm also trying to save up for that, like for drinks, hotel, if we end up um, getting a hotel or like Ubers or easy passes because tolls are expensive on the turnpike. 
Um, Christmas and gifts, I had budgeted about $100 to put into it. I actually put $150, which I'm really happy with. Black Friday, $75, $75. So designer, I wasn't planning on putting anything in, and I ended up putting $50. Bucks. Um, pet funds, I was planning like $100 to put in, and I put $150, thinking that's how much my vet was going to be, and it was over. Shopping, again, um, I put $50 towards it. Um, because I need to get a masquerade ball dress for a masquerade that I'm going to in November. Um, and so I just bought it, but I was saving up like last month to buy it this month, if that makes any sense. Fun money. Again, this is interchangeable with ones. I really kind of have to figure that out. And then beauty. I was planning to put 100. I only put 15 towards my beauty. So that is everything for September. Like I said, I'm very, very happy with it. Um, yeah, this, the food and the drinks one was a lot this month, but I knew it was going to be a pricey one just because of like birthdays and stuff. Um, but besides that, honestly, I really didn't go over budget at all. I was really under budget for the most part, honestly. And then, um, I'm really happy I didn't spend anything in beauty and shopping because I literally only have a month and two months basically that I have to wait until I can go shopping so and that's when I'll do like my big shopping trip so I made more than I thought so I'm not mad for the most part besides the first week so we are gonna go towards my October budget and this one I was like starting to tweak it a little bit so for paycheck one and two I'm putting 1250 I could probably put 1300 because realistically that's what I've been around. Paycheck three, this is the week I'm gonna be in Las Vegas. I'm only probably gonna be working Monday and Tuesday, realistically speaking, because I leave Thursday and Wednesday I took off because I'm seeing a concert with my friends. I'm seeing an orchestra for a performance for the Avatar Las Airbender. I'm so excited. So, and then I leave Thursday to go to Las Vegas and I'll be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I come back Monday. So realistically, I'm probably going to make like 450, maybe even less. So, and then paycheck four is the week of like Halloween and everything like that. So I know one day I want to take off to see Zayn in concert. And then, um, I'm, I don't think Halloween day is going to be busy at all. And I usually walk Thursday afternoons. So I'm not putting, I don't think I'm going to put anything towards my student loans this month. Um, just because I'm going to be going away for pretty much a week. And I, again, I'm just trying to save up as much as I can for that vacation. Um, my Cora is going to say the same. And my laptop is going to say the same. My needs are also going to say pretty much the same. Um, let's see. Pet insurance. Yeah. Subscriptions. I think this is going to stay the same because I canceled Apple TV. And unless like a subscription goes up or something like that, that should be around the same price. Yeah, so, so I think I'm still contributing $50 this month. And then gas, I think I'm going to actually put it, I don't know if I should put it back up to $150. I, yeah. I'm going to put gas back up to $150 just because I am going to Pittsburgh and I'm driving down to Baltimore to fly out BWI. So gas might be a little bit more this month. Um, Food and drinks, I'm going to keep at 200 because I am going to weigh for a week, but I'm using money that I'm saving for my traveling fund to cover all of that. So besides that, I realistically only have three weeks here in Pennsylvania, give or take. And again, I'm saving money for when I go to Pittsburgh to buy food and drinks in my traveling fund. So I basically have two and a half weeks here, like York, Pennsylvania to... Um, if I have to go out and I'm not planning on going out at all. So, um, beauty, I'm doing zero again. I'm using up all of my products up until next month. Miscellaneous. I think I'm going to keep at 50. I think that's like a good number. Prince and household. I think I'm actually going to do this. At... I'm going to change this to 300 actually, because my border, I know, is probably going to be about 250 and in case I need to buy him more food or anything like that beforehand, I'm going to raise it. Shopping, I'm changing this to... I already bought my dress, and that was like 75 but I do have to buy my Halloween costume, so I'm going to put this as 150 
self-care i'm going to put it at 230 i am going to keep it at 230 because i'm probably going to have to get my nails done one more time in october just with the way it fell and i'm going to have to get waxed this month so i'm going to keep this as 230 i think that's a good number and then fun money 150 i'm going to put this as 300 because i do have to buy zane tickets and actually i'm going to set this at 200 because um i'm seeing zora larson on november 1st but i can buy that like day of i'm not too worried about that so i'm going to keep that 200 and that's how much the zane tickets should be with fees and everything so i'm like 92 and again i'm not really too worried about the negative number here just because my income here can change so much. Um, so, and I could always budget things while I'm cash stuffing. So I'm not too worried about the negative number. Emergency, I think I'm gonna keep at 100 this month um, just because I am traveling, like I said. Actually, I might even do this at like 50. Uh, no, I'm gonna keep it at 100. I think 100 is a good goal. Um, month ahead, I'm not contributing anything towards this. I don't think this month, same with medical travel. I think I'm going to stick with 600. I only have to save like another like 400 or so between like for the rest of my hotel and then for going out and everything. I think it's about like 500 or so, but I want to save again, like another hundred or 200 towards, um, traveling when I go up to Pittsburgh. So I'm going to keep this at six. Uh, Christmas, I don't, I'm not planning on contributing anything this month towards it. I'm going to do it more next month. Same with Black Friday. Designer, I'm not worried about it. Gifts, I'm planning to do 50 just so I can take my dad out to eat for maybe for breakfast for his birthday. Um, my dad's birthday is Halloween day, so it's on October 31st. So pet fund, I'm not going to do anything because I'm just going to put it right towards my ones. And then fund money again i just put it there so <laughs> that would be the neighborhood dog it's okay friends <laughs> um my roth ira i'm not going to put anything towards it this month and then investment i'm only going to do 50 i think that's a good goal um yeah just because again i'm not going to be here that much so I think that's a good budget for October. Again, I'm still trying to work on it and everything. So if anyone has any recommendations or ideas, I would love to hear about it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little chatty budget video. Um, I really, sorry about how long it was. I really wanted to go through my budget and like talk about everything because I haven't done it before. So I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys liked it. If you haven't done so already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.